They were Hinch after a 1 0 defeat away at Merston. Uh, fair result, or do you think we deserve the draw? Right no, now? yeah, we've got, we can't kill ourselves that easily. Better, better team than us. Um, you know, just. I think they look more threatening in the final third. Their passing was a lot slicker and crisper than ours, and I think that's how we want our Worthing team to look like, really. Um, we could go on about certain decisions not going our way again, and David goes clean through, the keep comes out, and lunges with two feet, and you know, it just seems like if we do that, we get our goalkeeper sent off, no questions about it. And um, It seems a little bit like that, but you know, we're not going to um, feel sorry for ourselves. And, and Making excuses, um, we can harp on about those things, but it's not going to change that they was the better team on the night. Did, would you say it's a fair assessment that you know it was a pretty level first half, and in the second half they crept into the game a little bit better? But if we manage that last ten minutes, we may become away with a point. Yeah, I thought um, the performance there's definitely improvement on Saturday, which it had to be. Um, I don't think Enfield are three goals better than us uh, on our own patch, but um, there was definitely improvement today. Could have really gone either way really first half and really throughout the game you know those moments but just don't think when we got into the final third we caused them much problem really at all um, we rely on set pieces and stuff like that and you know we keep tinkering the shape so we can be more creative um, playing like three number tens behind a striker so you've got four forward players um, but every time it comes to them it, it breaks down um, at the moment it's that time of year where the pictures are just holding up. Like you might be able to see behind. It's a nice rink out there. Does that really have an effect on the way you try and get the boys playing? And maybe do uh, we have to be better at changing our game and just uh, and just playing well, percentages? It, it didn't, can you, it didn't can affect you, them, did it? No. Um, they was moving the ball one and two touch, playing things around the corner, um, and you, you look at the quality levels and know that they were far superior. Um, but the central half were excellent. Didn't give us a sniff. Both full backs had energy and. Good size, um, got forward. Um, yeah, and front players were tricky and lively. Uh, so, good, a good balance in the side, energy in the midfield. Um, so, you know, it, it didn't affect them. So, um, yeah, I think we've got to look at our quality in our in our camp and go. That's what we've got to aspire to. If they can do it, then there's no reason. Um, you know, that can't be an excuse for us why we can't play on it. I think you're right, and that's why they're probably in third, they're deservedly in third spot at the moment. Uh, we go to Kingstonian, level games, level points with them. It should be an even contest this Saturday. Yeah, they've got some good good players. Um, you know, they must be paying out a lot of money on their firepower up top. Um, so that's going to be a tough one for our young back four to, to deal with. But a good test, one that they've got to look forward to. Um, yeah, we. It's a tough one because we were so disappointed on Saturday and um, it was more competitive today. But you know, ultimately we've still got to keep on being better. Um, you know, we're not creating nowhere near enough. Like all our fans coming on the cold, frosty night, just not entertaining them enough. And you know, it's not from we want to try anything. We're not playing five at the back no more. Um, playing four at the back. We're playing. You know, trying bring as many attacking sort of creative players on the pitch as we can um, but for whatever reason it don't seem to be gelling or clicking um, you know we're working on stuff in training and you know it all looks very well there and rosy there but then they're not transferring that onto the pitch uh, at the moment um, yeah I mean, whenever we get in threatening areas it just keeps coming back it feels like we're constantly defending that second half and Maybe looking to you know, score something on the counter attack, and we've got to change it. Zach pulled up early into the second half. Was there any uh, update yeah, there? I don't know if it was just his calf, or it was a bit cramp, or kick, or whatever. I don't know if the, the cold weather's had an effect on him there, but um, yeah, we'll have to monitor that and, and see how he is. Um, but yeah, just when you feel like you're getting some players back, and then Zach goes down, and you know Alex gets a nasty kick, and Ricky's holding his ribs, and like that. So it's uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's a real tough period, and you know we've got to look to our experienced players and ask a bit more from them. I think um, you know they've got to be standing up um, and, and be counted out there. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's all very well saying you know they're blaming the younger players and uh, and stuff like that, but you know we've got to ask a bit more from our experienced ones that are out on the pitch. Thanks, Hinch. We'll see you at training Cheers. tomorrow, Hedekinsonian. Cheers, mate.